The New England Patriots are not done just yet, adding some pieces here through free agency. Now, while the big names are pretty much off the board, there are still some very good complimentary pieces out there. And with the team having around $50 million to spend in cap space, only being at about roughly 70 out of 90 players on the current roster, additions do still have to be made. In this one, we're going to be talking about how the team is going to be signing safety uh, Jalen Hawkins to a one-year contract. Now, we might be seeing number 32 back on the field for the Patriots defensively. Unfortunately, that guy is not going to be Devin McCourty, though. Interestingly enough, though, he would fill in that same role as Devin McCourty did if he does get snaps for New England defensively. And I think that first off, that's going to be the biggest question. Is this strictly going to be more of a special team signing, or is this a guy that the Patriots are truly going to try to get implemented within their secondary? Now, Hawkins was a fourth round pick by the Atlanta Falcons just back in the 2020 draft. He spent 2020, 2021 with them, and a little bit of 2022 with them too, or rather he did spend 2022 with them also, uh, but only played a few games for them in 2023 before they released him, and then he got claimed off of waivers by the Chargers. This is going to be a guy that throughout his four-year career so far has been asked to play in, in many different roles. He's been asked to play specifically as just a special teamer in some seasons, and then has specifically been asked to play as a, as a defensive player in some seasons. In his rookie season in 2020, he only played 9% of the Falcons' defensive snaps, but played 44% of their special team snaps. In 2021, he played 49% of their defensive snaps while playing 62% of their special team snaps. Then in 2022, he, he took a big leap forward, playing in 92% of the Falcons' defensive snaps while playing just 12 on special teams. Then this past year with the Falcons, before they cut him, he played 8% of their defensive snaps and 81% of their special team snaps, went to the Chargers, played 17% of their defensive snaps and 47% of their special team snaps. So he's been a guy that, again, he has been utilized as a true free safety, as a true piece defensively with respective teams' secondaries. But he's also been asked to be a, a real special team. And it, it really does seem like as of late, that has been the role that he's mainly been asked to serve in. He hasn't been a guy that has been a true starting free safety in the league and is mainly being looked at as more of a starting special teamer who can get in the rotation defensively. Ironically, for the Patriots, I think the biggest hole that they have defensively right now is that free safety position. Now, this past year, they tried to replace Devin McCourty in every single way possible. They tried Jalen Mills there. It didn't work out. They tried Kyle Duggar there. He had an offseason because he's a box safety. He's not a free safety. They tried Jabril Peppers there, and it didn't work out. That is the biggest hole that New England is facing within their secondary. That's why I wanted them to target Winfield in free agency before he got franchise tagged by the Buccaneers is because that is the lone piece truly that they are going to be looking for. Hawkins has only played free safety. Okay. He has a little bit of experience playing in the box. He has a little bit of experience playing in the slot, but for the most part on a year to year basis, the, mo the majority, the bulk of his snaps are going to come at the free safety. Now he is only 26 years old. He is still in his prime. I do just think that he's very, very raw. I think that he has some really, really good intangibles to work with. I think that he's very good tracking the ball. I think that he's a hard hitter. He knows how to come downhill and make plays. I just don't think that that full potential has been tapped into. I also think that he has potential to make a true impact in the run game. Again, he just needs to be unlocked. In no way, shape, or form should this be the type of signing that prevents New England from going out and making more moves at free safety. If you are able to upgrade at that position that you truly are struggling to get true bodies at, then you should still make them, whether that's through the draft, whether that's through trade, whether that's th through free agency. Honestly, to me, what I would like to see as a Patriots fan is that I want that to be a camp battle. Once we reach training camp, once it's mini camp, I want that to be a battle that whoever ends up winning is going to be the starting safety next year. 
because Jabril Peppers, Kyle Duggar, neither of those guys, if they are going to thrive in the roles that realistically they should be in, they shouldn't be playing free safety. Especially if you chose to bring back Kyle Duggar, don't put him back at free safety where you know you tried that experiment last year. It's not his role at the NFL. I think that this is overall a pretty mid signing by the Patriots. I don't think it's anything to write home about. I don't think it changes the game in any way, shape, or form. But you know what? You're getting bodies at free safety. You're getting bodies who know how to actually play the role that you need. You're not trying to to sign a box safety and throw him at free safety and say, hey, well, it's the same thing. We'll, we'll find a way to manage it. Or, hey, we have an extra cornerback. We'll just place him there. No, you're getting a guy who plays that true spot defensively. And I do like that. And again, it is a need for the Patriots. So you definitely can't go wrong with it. He'll be in the mix. Okay. Hawkins will be in the mix for the job, but I think this is going to be more of a special teams move. I don't think that the Patriots are going to do what Belichick once did though, where they have, you know, five, six, seven guys who are going to be just core special teamers. I think that Hawkins is a guy that if he's on the team next year might get more special team snaps, but either way, he's going to get in the rotation defensively. As a special teamer though, he played on all five units. This guy does it all. No matter what you're looking for from a special team standpoint, he is going to give you that, okay? I think he's a very, very underrated special teamer in the league. And again, Patriots didn't exactly have one of the best special teams last year, and they haven't had one of the best special teams in several years. So that is an area that they are going to continue to look to develop. And at the end of the day, you're improving in, in both spots of a need. You're improving on special teams and you're improving at free safety because who's the guy that was thrusted into the free safety role right now? You don't have one. I'll be curious to see if he does make the roster because I don't think that he is a lock to make the roster, but if he does end up making this roster, I'll be curious to see how he can thrive in New England's defense as they do look to get aggressive because I think he does have that aggressive playing style in him. Again, just needs to be unlocked. You look at the Atlanta Falcons, you look at the Chargers, both have, you know, pretty good, pretty decent defensive lines, but I think that between the three teams he's now been on, the Patriots have the best pass rush and can that bring the best out of him? Can that help him make some plays? Because the worst part of his game, unfortunately, is covering. Okay, he he's not a great coverage defensive back here. I mean, you look at this past season, he put up an overall PFF grade of 50.6 in coverage. In 2022, put up a coverage grade of 56.1. In 2021, a coverage grade of 60.9. And then his rookie year in 2020, a coverage grade of 55.3, okay? He's never had a very good season in terms of coverage. At the end of the day, the Patriots need bodies at free safety, and that's exactly what they're doing here. They're putting bodies there, and I hope that they continue to do this. Like I said, try to get some of those guys in the draft. Maybe bring some more guys in via free agency and see who is going to be the best for you at free safety by the end of the year. And I think, again, that will be one of my most um, intriguing things to watch in training camp and the offseason as we gear up for this 2024 season. But what are your guys' thoughts on the Patriots signing safety Jalen Hawkins to a one-year contract? Let me know in the comment section below if there's anything I missed. Make sure you guys let me know in the comment section below too. Make sure on your way out, you leave a big, big like on the video because it massively helps support us. And of course, subscribe to the channel for all of your New England Patriots news. We appreciate you guys so, so, so much for watching. But most importantly, never forget, go Pats.